HIV forward slash AIDS. I've never learned which one you get first and I will never remember it either because even when someone tells me, I don't remember. Some things just don't stick in this brain like gender, you know, I don't see gender bro, I just see fucking dickheads everywhere, massive penises dangling from people's foreheads, man, woman, they, them. I just said I don't see gender but clearly I just did. One thing I'd like to point out in life is usually when someone has AIDS, uh, you know, you could pass it on or HIV, something like that, I don't know. But apparently, some people are debating that you shouldn't have to disclose like whether you have it they're telling me so read this a debate has emerged regarding the ethical and legal obligations of disclosing aids to sexual partners that they should not require to disclose their status it's a disgrace you fucking should bro if you go on a date and your nose is running you have a little sniffle you should tell that motherfucker that you're not the feeling the great you know what i mean that's what i think because dude you don't want to get a cold for two days never mind you want fucking hiv for 10 million years like you, once you got it you got it don't you i'm pretty sure like you can't shake that shit well this isn't like a cold where it disappears many argue that hiv unlike diabetes or blood pressure is transmissible through contact making disclosure crucial for health and safety of partners critics of form now let's be real hiv is predominantly in uh, gay men uh, it is we're going to watch a video of a gay man explaining how he feels like he's got the short end of the stick when in fact he was the one who got AIDS. Now, again, it's a sad, sad thing and I hope he's fine, but too damn right before you stick your dick in his butt. You should have to explain. You should probably get like it tattooed like HIV, by the way. You know what I mean? Like, I don't... Th I don't think it's uncommon to be like, yeah, I, I have it. Like, it's common decency. It's like, I shouldn't have... I shouldn't have to tell people, I'm sorry, can I do the accent? I, sh I shouldn't have to tell people that I uh, have AIDS. That was pretty good. Yeah. You know, AIDS, apparently, I don't know if this is true, I'm just going to say it anyway, because who fucking cares? There's so much misinformation on the internet, we should just keep it going, keep spreading and stirring. Apparently, a man fucked a monkey or an animal of some sort and contracted AIDS and then fucked someone else and that's how AIDS became a thing so one man literally changed the course of history fucking prick killed Freddie Mercury imagine if Freddie Mercury was still alive today what a man he would be what a man what a man he would be I'd love to see what he's like you know like there's nothing wrong with being gay bro there's nothing wrong with getting AIDS but I just think you know you should keep it within the family or whatever. I put HIV positive on my, like on my profiles. Mm. People don't want to touch you. Mm. I remember being on a date with someone. So I brought him back to my place. It was like, okay, like I need to tell you something. Like I'm mm. HIV positive. Mm -hmm. And I remember he like looked at me. It was like, I murdered him. I was like, yeah. I, I thought he was going to beat the shit out of me. He was like, I can't believe you wouldn't tell me. And like, you gave me HIV and like, was just oh, like wow. losing his mind. And I'm like, mm. no, that's not a shock. Like I would, you should tell them before you put it in the fucking bum hole. I, I don't understand. Can that really hurt? I don't understand though. It's not like, oh, by the way, I'm your, I'm a Russian spy spying on the Americans for Vladimir Putin, but don't tell people this. You're not telling them some super secret like that. You know what I mean? You have AIDS, S STI, and STD, whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it, you've got it. And I think it is incredibly important because then it comes to the debate it's like, when does it stop? When? When is it? Like, should you tell them you have chlamydia? Yeah, you fucking should. You should tell them, like I said, if you have a cold, you should always relay information. You know, some people are more susceptible to illnesses than you. If you have a cold, you might not feel it, but they might have asthma. They might have something X, Y, Z. You know, I always, if I had a cold, I was okay. I could go to school. If my brother got that cold, my younger brother, he has like asthma and stuff, he'd be a lot more fucked up than I would be. So we always would just be like, you know, if you're ill, just stay the fuck in your room. And I was like, fine by me. I'm playing fucking Halo. Like, that's cool. You know? That's not possible. Even if I bled on you, like yeah. in an open wound, like that wouldn't happen. I'm undetectable. Yeah, and like, yeah. you know, but he just like didn't want to hear it. Now, like the way the law goes, like being mm. undetectable, like I really don't have to like mm. disclose my status. Right. And you think about it, like anyone that you meet on your first date or or if like you're hooking up, like are they you like, have I have diabetes, I have high blood sure. pressure. You're not telling them any of this shit. Oh, yeah. I think you probably would though, what a dumb dumb, like you probably would, you would have a conversation, you're on a date, you're eating, would you like a glass of Fanta, nah bro, if I have that, I have diabetes and I'm gonna fucking drop dead, it's like, okay, that's an important piece of information, oh, you have high blood pressure as well, alright, well, let's be calm and let's not do anything rash, we won't go, you know, running around the city drinking piss, like, it's, I think this is different though, if you're on a date, the intent is probably, not saying it always is, is to proceed, isn't it, to the next level, I, I just don't think this 
guys thinking properly and I think these two fucking what are they drinking strawberry flavored water in a can I should have backed out as soon as I saw it what a red flag that is you know fuck me Jesus crew <sighs> where HIV is now like mm -hmm. if you are undetectable like you don't necessarily like have to disclose that I don't think you're putting mm -hmm. anyone at any risk that you have mm -hmm. to like necessarily go through that but yeah. it's because of the stigma and shame that I feel like I have to disclose people would look at that as betrayal there is no sh shame with having AIDS <laughs> all right you have something you caught it whatever but if you're undetectable like you should still tell someone like what does undetectable mean you know what i mean if a dog came sniffing they'd be like nah they're good homie you get the pass like what does that mean undetectable and it's like if you were bleeding and i bled in your wound you might not even get it you might not even get it might you know what I mean? You might get run over by a car. It has the same fucking meaning, bro. Doesn't mean you're gonna start not looking when you cross the road. Oh, I hate people. Why is that even a, if you have a, you, you can't, don't disclose that to your partner. You should be charged with reckless endangerment. I probably agree. Queer doesn't believe, oh, I don't know why I said that. Queer LGBTQ doesn't believe he has to disclose. Yeah, so we listened to that and I, I have to admit, unfortunately his argument, you know, was as good as listening to Kamala Harris debate. It just hurt my head and didn't make any sense. You should absolutely, yeah, here, if you were COVID po positive, but uh, asymptomatic, you need to disclose it to your boss, HR, family, anyone. Exactly. And I slept for two weeks, but sure, HIV is cool. You get a like, because that is the most fantastic thing I've read all day, homie. It makes sense though, you know what I mean? I, I remember I had COVID. I I didn't know. I went into work. They were like, we're all testing today. Oh, you've got it. And I was like, no, nah, I don't. No, nah, I don't. I promise you. I can fucking taste, smell, and I feel amazing. I, you know? Oh, I do have it. Number two, really? All right. So, lads. You know what I mean? You feel bad because you're like, I don't want to hurt anyone. But at the same fucking time, can't. If you have it, you should fucking... It's like you won't go, don't worry, mate. I've got COVID, but I'm not sneezing, so it's not going on you. Yeah? Shut up. Shut your bitch ass up. Now, again, I feel sorry he has it, and I'm sure it affects his dating life. I know for a fact there's dating apps that are for HIV people. I've had to use them. No, I'm kidding. Um, but, you know, it is sad, unfortunately, but at the end of the day, why should someone else get it? Because you got it. It don't make any fucking sense, can it? Just don't make any sense. And again, apologies to this lovely gentleman right here. I hope you're a gentleman. But whatever you are, you have a hell of a beard. And I just think you should always tell people whether you have a cold, whether you have a black eye, whether you've stubbed your toe this morning, whether you... Yeah, and he was like, oh, diabetes, would you tell someone? I think they do. You know what I mean? If you have severe PTSD, it would probably come in a, in a conversation. You know what I mean? You'd be like, oh, you might not go, yeah, I was in Vietnam. I saw three people's bodies explode right in front of me and everyone I ever loved is dead. You would just go, yeah, I was in war. I had a fucking few thingy-majees and yeah, I'm fucked up. And you'd be like, okay, I probably won't press anymore. And you, you know, you just say to him like, I, I, th I, I don't understand how this guy can actually sit there and go, um, yeah, HIV, um, like after the fact as well like it's illegal it's illegal to do it and then not tell someone i'm pretty sure like it is in england i know that i remember learning about it anyway let me know what you guys think about this debate i can't believe it is a debate to be honest again i have no disrespect to boning men boning women whatever you want you do but you have something that can kill and can spread and you should fucking not hide it, you know what I mean? Like, you've got a nuclear weapon in your pants, bro. You can't just go fucking dropping the bombs. Dude, that was cool, wasn't it? That was a good analogy, dog.